we are going to understand about the Van Hook's concept and etc. And also we'll see some demo in Power Automata. Okay, so let's get started. So what is a Van Hook? Van Hook are kind of reverse APIs. Okay, or push APIs because they put the responsibility of communication on the server rather than the client. So instead of the client sending HTTP request asking for data until the server responds, the server sends the client a single HTTP post request as soon as the data is available. Okay, so instead of client polling the server very frequently, the server will let the client know when the data is ready. Okay, so this will save a lot of to and fro communication between client and server. Okay, so this will eliminate the need for polling. Okay, so this will save the resources for the client application because client has to continuously poll the server, right? So continuously send the network call to client to the server. Okay, so this will be saved. Okay. So as I was explaining, so in, in the regular polling mechanism, so the client will continuously ask for update from the server, like is my data ready very frequently, right? And after some time once the data is ready, then server will respond back, yeah, here is your data, okay? But when it comes to web hooks, so these are simplified the process. So client will have no, no longer need to keep pulling the server. So the server will respond back uh, to the client once the data is ready. So only uh, and only once the communication will happen. I mean, the client need not pull the server each and every time. Okay. So you can also understand uh, books in terms of publish and subscribe model. Okay. So like the client has subscribed uh, to the server, and uh, once the data is ready, the server will publish to the client. So how do webhooks work? So webhooks typically work by having a third party service like the application or the servers, Salesforce server, service now server, send an HTTP post request to the URL you specify. So URL you specify which will be in the client side, okay? So think of it, of it as like the URL which uh, on which the server will send the post request will belong to a uh, other application or client, okay? So this is kind of reverse thing, right? Instead of client going and asking for uh, sending a GET request to the server each and every time, the server will uh, send a POST request to the client once the data is ready, okay? as we have seen here. So the client will send a POST request to the client with the data. So earlier what happens, the client used to send a GET request to the server each and every time. Okay? But here, the server itself will send a POST request to the client. No need to send even that request, okay? So this is the valuable overview of how it works, okay? okay. So, so, so how do we achieve it in Power Automate? So we can create a webhook, okay, in Power Automate Cloudflow using the where when a HTTP request is received trigger, okay? And then we can add some further action once the request, once the data is sent by the server into by using post call to this URL, okay? Then what we need to do next, we want to work with that data, right? We want to do some work with the data. We want to send some email with the, to some person to the, with, to, with that data or you want to write a data to a data reverse table, okay? So let me also, sorry, let me also explain to you using a flowchart or whiteboard. So this was, okay. so this is a client, this is a server, okay? And this is a client, this is a server. So what happens? Uh, 
with with the polling mechanism the client will keep on polling the server okay continuously it will poll the server but uh, in webhook you the server will send a post request to the client once the data is ready so client need not poll it poll for the data so and where the uh, who will provide the URL to the server? The client will provide the URL point to the server on which the server will send a post request. Okay, so URL post request by the server. Okay, so the client URL. Okay, so this is in summary. Okay. Okay, so now let's see uh, this URL where I have created it. Okay, so this I have created in Power Automate Flow in this uh, trigger. Okay, when a HTTP request is received, so you want me, you will uh, ask me where is this trigger, right? How to create this trigger? So you need to go to my flows, create a new instant drop flow, give some name, okay, and skip it. Just click on skip. Okay. Then add a trigger. So now you search for HTTP. Okay. So here you will get another request and a section. Okay. When it is HTTP request, if you see, you need to click on this. Okay. So I have already uh, created this flow, so I will not go and create a new one. I will reuse me reuse this HTTP flow which I have created. Okay. So this is the flow I have created manual. Uh, this is a HTTP flow, right? And who can trigger the flow? Can be anyone. Or you want to restrict to some particular user in your tenant, you can go that way also. But here for demo purpose, I'll get anyone. Once you click on save, this URL will be generated, right? So you copy this URL. So just paste it here. I do pay one second. So this is yeah. So this is the one. So now what you need to do in this URL, they will say percentage to web by just replace with that slash forward slash okay. So electricity forward slash wherever I see percentage to web. Otherwise, it will fade in the in location from the uh, pool. Okay, so now copy this, and yeah, one more thing. So, what I need to do uh, once uh, uh, server will send some data okay to this URL, I want to update a database table that is working. So, I will use this to update my work queue items. Okay, so this is the work queue ID you need to get from the work queue table. Okay. For this work queue items, okay, you need to follow this structure. So you need to work queues and then work queue ID. So this is the work queue ID. You will get it from the work queue table. Okay, that's it. Click on save. Okay, now you come to Power Automate. Okay, now you take an action. Invoke web service. Okay. Now you is this URL which we have just created? You just format it, okay? Now you just do some JSON, okay? And uh, what is my input? So I will just say, uh, from one to three, four, five is my input of that work queue item, okay? I want to insert this value into that work queue item table. Leave it in select post and click on save um, I think this is already saved right so just save it right so you will be uh, asking why I am using this power to my desktop tool because as I was explaining this is a client so this can be anything this can be postman also so any HTTP client you can use it over here 
okay but in reality it will not be like this uh, i mean I, it will i will not be manually invoking so the so the server like the uh, sorry uh, the uh, um, this this one the sales proxy right so this one i think this uh, so it can be say it will be sales force or sap okay or service now any end of the server who is generating some log event logs and say they want to send it to the client okay to the client using post call but for demo purpose i am manually triggering so i am assuming power to my desktop as a server who is generating some event and then this uh, data is going to my client which is power automate cloud okay but instead of power automate desktop pool you can also use postman or you can configure in salesforce also as sap you can check the tutorial how to configure a web, web hook in salesforce also as sap or service now and so on okay but for demo purpose i am using this power automate desktop tool as a uh, as a server who is generating some event okay let me so let me run it there is some authorize oh, okay okay i think i am in wrong tenant but uh, there is not the issue okay why i am not having access let me just change my tenant okay, let me just change my tenant So I am in the same environment. Sorry, I'm not changing the tenant. I'm changing the environment. So that we are in the same environment doesn't. It should not matter. But uh, I'm not sure why it is giving a. You can also try using Postman. Okay. So let's. Uh, yeah. So I think we are in the correct environment. Everything looks correct on the on the my user same URL, right? And even can trigger the flow. So ideally, you should not have given the error. But, but let's try using the same environment. Okay. So web services. Okay, web services. Post call because server will do a post call. Okay. Okay, I think this is the error as was. There was some extra character okay. because of that it was giving the authentication error. Okay. So so environment doesn't matter because I have selected anyone, right? Anyone from anywhere in the world can trigger this flow. So this is very risky thing. So you need, need to be careful whom you are sharing this URL with, okay? So any anybody with a HTTP client uh, tool, right? They can trigger this flow okay. so using Postman or any. See how it has succeeded. Okay. So now let's go and check whether it has run or let's check the run history. Yeah. See, ten seconds ago it has run successfully. Okay. So I have successfully implemented a webhook. Okay. See, it has already run it and it has inserted a value. Okay. Uh, hopefully, it has inserted. Yeah, so let's go to the table. Let's, so, this is one of the approach to update a work queue table. Okay. Okay, so suppose you have a requirement to update the work queue item from an external tool right external app see how yeah it has updated it okay so i think i given the same item name that's why it is see it has updated now just now it has updated okay let's see what is the value it has um, Oh, okay okay i did not give any input that's why it is empty 
uh, it was my mistake so I think you should give some input right just assume you have a work uh, work your item like employee id right one one two two three two three we want to update like that so let's run it again yeah so and okay um, Unexpected character and submission and elements quotes. Yeah. Now it has worked out successfully. Let's uh, refresh this table data and see whether it has worked properly or not. come on yeah so it has three zero hours now okay so let's see whether it uh, is the data what is the data ah see it has uh, updated it okay one one two two three three so we have successfully implemented webhook okay and updated the work queue table also you can use this to update anything in your database or do anything you can send an email after this okay so i just for demo purpose i have taken up work queue table approach but you can do you can add any action okay so i hope you have found this useful so uh, please leave some comment uh, if you find this useful and do subscribe to my channel so thank you again for listening bye bye